Hey everybody, I'm Rob. And I'm Lori Marie Jenkins. And we are both artists who live, live in Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Welcome back after a very fast week. Full. Yeah, full. full. Yes. Full and fast. Yes. So we're inside we're inside the, the casa, inside the nido. Raining outside and day kinda got away from us. So yes. It's it's a little, <laughs> we need <dark>. light. <laughs> Getting dark out, it's early. And it's been raining all day. Oh my gosh, yes, yeah, good good stuff. Yeah. So yeah, we had a heck of an exciting week. Um, Starting off with Friday. Friday was snorkeling, and um, it was great. Went with uh, our friends uh, Phil and Colleen, and their son Emery. Uh, Lauren Reed did not go. I did not go. On the trip. Gets I'm grateful I didn't go. Yeah, gets a little seasick. I get a little seasick. Yes, but it was amazing. Uh, absolutely amazing. Went out to Caño Island, which is about maybe an hour offshore from Sierpe, and that's where we left from. So we took a, a road, uh, uh, a route out the Sierpe River to the uh, where it meets the ocean, and saw humpback whales. Probably saw at least ten of them. Saw whales on the way out to the island, and then we also saw them on the way back. And then out at the island is where we snorkeled. Um, two separate locations. And then we had lunch, and it wasn't crystal clear water, but the amount and variety of fish was fantastic. I just highly recommend it. It was amazing. And I want to thank Emery for going in my place. And, yes. And getting sick in my place. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was missing Lori Marie, and then the boat trip started. I'm like, oh, God, I'm so glad she's not here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't do so well. He had a good time. Had a good enough time. But um, yeah, it was it was fun. So um, highly recommend Kanyo Island. So Saturday we just kind of laid low because Friday was a very big day, like a twelve hour day from start to finish. So yeah, um, a lot of gardening. Yeah. Saturday. Oh yeah, playing in the yard. That is true. Mm -hmm. And then on Sunday we went to Yana's house. She lives. She also lives in Platineo and has some property. I had seen the property before and I couldn't wait for Rob to see it because it is absolutely mm -hmm. amazing. It's great. They have about the same amount of property that we have. They have way less than us. Ah. Uh, yeah, but they don't have as much forest. We have a lot of forest right. that's There's this tough clear, to access. Yeah, yeah. Oh, just highly Lawn, maintained. Pads, yeah. Very maintained. Just gorgeous. But we left with a car full of oh my plants. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Cuttings, snippings, oh, pulled yeah. up by the roots, um, orchids. Yep. She has a beautiful orchid collection. Oh, yeah. Orchids pulled from the trees yeah. and some succulents and uh, uh, what was it? Some agaves mm -hmm. from the ground. We don't know what's going to make it or not. Right. Yeah. It'll be fun. Some of the things we have in the ground. I've played with the orchids a little bit uh, on a big. Home, mm -hmm. which has been a lot of fun for me. Um, maybe I'll include a picture of that. So that was really fun to play with. Yeah. So very fun day. Very, very fun day. Um, so that was Sunday. All right. And so we have gotten so many plants in the past week. Um, we pulled some plants from the casita, um, doing some work over there. And I'm like, hey, that's there's right. some great stuff. And then we got some really nice succulents from Edith last week. Oh, that's right. And then a, you got to see her nursery. Yes, a mm -hmm. car full of plants from Yana. So we've had a lot of stuff to either get in the ground or get in water or something. Right. So they don't die. So yeah. Busy planting week. Yeah, it's been good. Mm-hmm. Monday. Yeah. Monday was my day to go to the hospital, a public hospital. Right, Is that right. correct? Yep. Okay, so I uh, had an um, 8 o'clock, 8.30 appointment there to drop off my samples, my body function <laughs> samples, <laughs> which was kind of weird. It's the first time I've ever done it in that way. Uh, yeah, a little uh, strange. Yeah, a little strange. Came up to the uh, public hospital and was routed to this window. It was like a bank teller. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, she took my samples. And it was just kind of a weird. desk full of them. <laughs> yeah. From. And so she um, told me to go inside and around the way, and that's where I would have my blood draw done. Um, we sat down, and then it was my turn. So uh, super fast. They do a system here where they have chairs by the you know along the wall. So here's the door, 
and then there's chairs like this, and so one person sits here, and then da 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 da. And so when that person gets up and goes to do something, <laughs> whether it's banking or oh, yes. hospital or whatever, DMV, dentist, yeah. yeah, then you get up and you move and you sit down, and then when it's you just get up and move. Everybody and sit just down. keeps moving. <laughs> Kind of like musical chairs, but always the same amount of yeah. chairs. Yeah, and not much music. <laughs> so, uh, so we moved a couple of chairs, and then it was my turn to go in. Probably the best blood draw I've ever had. Uh, no bruising or anything like that. Uh, very professional. Well, they're doing 7,000 a day. <laughs> they have, that's true. They have uh, like four, what are they called? The, phlebotomists. Yes, they had four phlebotomists. <laughs> I, I'm not sure that that's Spanish, but... <laughs> Phlebotomista. <laughs> they had four of them working at the same time. Um, no Band-Aid. When you're done, uh, cotton ball, put your arm up, and then you're done and you're out. So. You, you get Band-Aids at the private hospital, not the public right. one. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. But it was very simple, very easy. Very, In and out. Yeah, yep. so that was a very good experience. And then, yeah, so that was fast, fast. So mm -hmm. we spent a little time in um, PZ. That was great. Um, Parazeladon. And I don't know, do we go shopping? Mm -hmm. I, just, I don't think that did. You got it. You did get some clothes. We got some lunch. Oh, we came yeah. home. Oh, All right. we went to the nursery. We got orchid. Uh, orchid bark. Orchid bark. <laughs> yep. And orchid um, fertilizer. Uh huh. Yeah. So we're learning about orchids. Yes, we it's are. Exciting. Yeah, that's very exciting. Mm -hmm. So, oh, I went into a used clothing store. They're called Americana. Ro Ropa, Ropa Americana. Ropa Americana. And I got a cute little dress and a cute little top for like two bucks each, wasn't it? Less than that, thousand. Yeah. Crazy. Oh yeah, yeah. Well. Yeah. So <laughs> that was cute. That was pretty crazy. Though well, everything in the store was one mil. One thousand colonies. One thousand colonies, which yes, means one like mil. two bucks. Mm -hmm. So that was very fun. Found some fun things there. All women's clothes. Yeah, that is no, true. No fun t-shirts for this guy. I keep looking. Yeah. And the deal is when I buy something, then I discard something. And there's a couple of things that I'm not crazy about, so it'll be easy to get rid of them. Yeah. It's kind of the way we always uh, did our clothes. When we get something new, we have to get rid of something old, so we never have a Too lot. Too much. Right. Mm -hmm. And for me, usually it's just the shirts wear out and become shop rags, so then I can get a new shirt. But I have enough for now. <laughs> yeah, don't send a bunch of shirts. Uh -huh, right. <laughs> I won't know where to get them. <laughs> um, so Wednesday I had my doctor's appointment. Uh, same setup as Lori Marie. Went to the e bice here in Platinio. Uh, it's great. So we're learning a lot about the Kaha system, what works, what doesn't, and um, it was, it was amazing. Um, went very smoothly. I already had an appointment. Um, intake guy. And then went to saw, saw the doctor. And the thing that impressed me the most is there was no hurry. There was no hurry with the doctor. Um, in the States, things often are rushed. And they're, they're, being, they're being pushed by insurance companies, I think, to you know, maximize the visits. And this doctor, he, he would have spent all day with me, it felt like. And so went through all this stuff, questions. This is my first visit, so there was a lot of questions to put into the computer, just like there was for Lori Marie's right. profile. Right, so this is the, the clinic that you buy. Yes, yes, the clinic, yeah, the but clinic. it's into the Caja um, computer system. Mm -hmm. So anywhere I go in Costa Rica, they'll, they'll have my number and they'll have all of my history in there, which is great. Yep. Yeah, and um, so was, yeah, went through the, all the, the regular stuff. I've got my blood draw uh, next Monday. Same, th same thing as Lori Marie, so mm -hmm. probably won't go into too much detail about it. Yeah, that's right. Or maybe we will. <laughs> um, and Rob has a prescription for uh, ibuprofen, and they were able to satisfy that, right? Pretty much, yeah. I got 400 milligrams, whereas in the States I got 800 milligrams. Mm -hmm. and I didn't get twice as many either, so. But, but they were free. There's free. No copay at all. Right, no yeah. copay. Kind of fun. Yeah. All right, that is that's, uh, Wednesday. That's up to Wednesday. Oh, Thursday. Thursday. We had the best adventure. Very fun. Oh, it was so fun. <laughs> you guys are going to be like, what? What? That's fun? It was so much fun. It really was. It was. <laughs> we had a 9-13 appointment. Uh-huh. 
<laughs> at DECRA. DECRA, yes. Mm -hmm. This is the car inspection service throughout, more, uh, throughout all of Costa Rica. It used to be Riteve. Riteve's lease expired or something. And so the new company, DECRA, does it. And it's like a smog check if you're from California, but it's also like an inspection. An inspection plus a smog check. So it's basically checking your car's roadworthiness. It's, it's amazing. Every, every year, all the cars and trucks, I think, have to go through this. Right. Now, we, we're good for two years. Right. Because it's a newer car. Yes. But the older cars, you get one year. Yeah. I, I think what we've heard is if your car is five years old or less, you uh, can get it renewed for two years. And since ours is a 2019, basically, this is the last time we can get two years. But we won't have to be reinspected till 2025, which is sweet. So we do have a couple of little videos on, oh, yeah, on the yeah. adventure. Shh, I'm not supposed to. Oh yeah, we. I got I got the videos before he told me I couldn't have the videos. <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh okay, lo siento, lo it's, siento. And it's not like a secret process. It's like okay, turn your lights on. All right, turn your windshield yeah. wipers on. Right. So yeah. it looks like kind of like a car wash. Big, mm -hmm. big, big car huge wash. car wash. Yeah, yeah. There were like seven cars in front of us, uh, bumper to bumper, mm -hmm. and uh, separate lane for motorcycles. Mm -hmm. Very nice. So the first stop was the windshield wipers and the lights and the fluid yep. and the uh, windshield yep, wipers. Yep, yep. Check the oil. Yeah. And uh, so then we went through. Go ahead and I'll just. Add oh my gosh, it was so think. funny because it's just like all these different stops, and there was times where. The inspector guy would have me get out, and he got into the um, the driver's seat, and they did a uh, suspension check. They did a brake check. The suspension check, they, they put you on these rollers, and they shake the whole car while you're in it. Lori Marie and I are in the car they go the whole time, just rolling through. Like, oh. And it's like they shake the car, and they go back and forth, and, and then you go forward, and then does the rear wheels. And then um, same thing, there's like a brake check. So it's spinning, and you have to brake. And then yeah. there's another one where it's like... I don't know if it's checking the, the um, uh, s something else with the suspension, but it's like moving the car side to side. Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> it's, it's wild. And then, you know, as you pull forward, then there's like this oil pit. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Where there's a mechanic down in there and he's looking under the car. Right. Don't it's know what he's. Just crazy. Make sure we have a muffler. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He's poking around at something. But how much was it? Oh, seven, 7,000 colonics. So that would be about fourteen dollars. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cause, Pretty incredible. Uh huh. And uh, very fun. A lot of people have their cars taken in by their mechanics, and so we had a friend who did it. And it's thirty thousand, but you know, they, if they lived in Uvita, they'd have to go all the way to Parazelado. So the Decra stations are only going to be in your major cities, uh, larger cities, and so ours ours was an hour away. Um, south side of San Isidro, uh, but it was fun because yeah, and I think some people, and I might be wrong, but I think that some people have their mechanic do it. So in case there's something that needs adjusting, exactly. the mechanic is right there. And, and and I don't know if you get a do-over, a free do-over, or if you have to pay for the next visit. I I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. we luckily we didn't have to. Correct. Yeah. But um, yeah, and then also if you take if your mechanic takes it through, they can talk with the guys and find out exactly what the problem was. Yeah. Maybe so. bring it back. You know, there's appointments. Every there. every three minutes. Every three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It's like ours was nine thirteen, <laughs> right? But we got there a half an hour early. Yeah. Yeah, we probably got there a quarter of eight. We were completely done by nine twelve. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't. They didn't make us wait. We're just in the line. Who cares? Go. Yeah. And but like city buses were going through. Oh, that's right. Oh, it was nuts. City bus. Yeah, yeah, it was nuts. Very fun. Yeah. That was a very fun experience. And so that was. And then we were in town. So we did some uh, shopping. I had um, hardware store stuff, mm -hmm. grocery stuff, and we saw a fun little antorcha. Oh. Uh -huh. Because today. Uh, Friday, September 15th, is Costa Rica's Independence Day. Yep. Woo! So lots of people dressed up in um, traditional... Traditional dress, national yeah. colors. Yeah, definitely. Yep, yep. Yeah, white, um, white, red, and blue. Um, hmm, sounds familiar. Right. No stars and stripes, though. <laughs> Different design. 
but it's great. It's great. There's a lot of, of course, there's a lot of pride in the country, mm -hmm. and so I think a lot of Central American countries share that September 15th date, and it's basically like Central America's um, independence from Spain. Uh, I don't, I don't know what year. I don't know. I should, right? She should. Not I. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> but yesterday. But you guys can tell us that. that yes. Fine. Yes. Yeah. Please. What's yeah. what year? Oh, 1850. Um, but yesterday were the torchlight parades, and it was so fun. We got a small video. Um, all, most of the schools come together, and um, I don't know if there's marching bands as well, but the schools, they're all waving their flags, and all the, all the kids young to high school, um, they're parading through San Isidro. Yeah, it and was fun. Really festive. Uh, we didn't stay for all the parades and everything, but pretty fun. Yeah. Yeah. And that's... That's that. That's the week that Can was. Can I hand that off to you? So, I want to show you oh, our yes. harvest of the week. Dun, da, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> huh? I know. You don't live on that for a month. <laughs> I know. We are pretty big farmers. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. <laughs> this was last a week. So, There's these that. are. Uh, is this, was this volunteer? Yes. Yeah, so we have a lot of volunteer tomato plants that have come out of our compost the compost pile. yeah that's so we put them in pots and uh, this guy's <laughs> this guy's doing great i got them staked up and um we've gotten a few but and, and this is the vegetable of the week is it a ch ch chayote chayote we okay. think c-h-a-y-o-t-e yeah. so i'm going to prepare this this week and show you what I'm going to do with it. I think I'm going to, because I asked the guy, he said peel it, chop it, and fry it. So I'm going to saute it with some onions and garlic and maybe some potatoes. So I'll keep you posted on how that experiment goes. Yeah. We shall see. A lot of fun fruits and vegetables that are not common where we're from. Mm -hmm. So we're trying new things and trying to remember what they're called. Right. <laughs> yeah. So I think that's about it. That's it, that's it, yeah. yeah I've been chatty little Kathy's. Doing a little bit of basket making and fun, fun. a little bit of rock painting and Rob's moving forward on the bed. Ooh, it's so. gonna look great. So that's been fun. Yes, really coming together. Yeah. In but. his space we kinda have to pick well, actually he built the bed around his work table. Right? On, on the floor, yeah. On the work the table fits inside the bed. <laughs> and then we had to pick it up and rotate it, you know, put it up higher and rotate it. So he's working with the space that uh, that he's been given. Yeah, so it's, it's well, a bed is a big item. Yeah, a, be, a bed is bigger than, you know, usually a, a dining room table or even a couch. So queen size bed frame is a good size mm -hmm. thing. It is. Well, that's <laughs> but, exciting. Yeah, I'm uh, varnishing it now. Woo! Very fun. Right now? Right now. Hmm. That's weird. <laughs> all right i think that's it for us oh yes yeah it's been a good week lots of rain this week which mm -hmm. has been nice very very nice yeah september is is true to form it's it's a rainy month it's yeah. it's really good it's good so. yep and for those of you curious we um our casita is still um being rented and we have some nibbles to for people to buy it so we have fingers interest. crossed we have interest we have interest Yes. So, uh, yeah, don't uncross those fingers yet. Right, yeah. right. Thank no. you for that support around that. Yeah. So. Thanks for your comments. Yes, Thanks absolutely. for watching our silly videos. <laughs> yeah, because now my computer's not working, so Ooh. now I have to figure out how to do the editing and stuff like that on his desktop. Well, maybe her laptop will work, but maybe <laughs> we yeah, shall see. we're gonna we're gonna have to find different uh, different methods here. Yes, definitely. So. All right, that's it from us. Have a great week. Thanks for the support. Thanks for your comments. I think I answered all of them. If I missed a question, ask it again. I would appreciate it. So. We'll be back. We'll be back. See you next week. Ciao. No. <laughs> Just a minute. Kids. Kids. What are you going to do? <laughs> okay. All right. See you next week. Adios. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> Good job, sweetie. Thank you. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. We did. This is a video.
Oh, you got it. Oh, it's not good. We're very close. We're not supposed to be very close, but she's very quiet. She's relaxed, okay? Once she starts moving, we're not gonna be, uh, get close, okay? Because <laughs> remember that the mammals, when they see the boats and people, so they try to go away and avoid the boats, right? Remember that people still hunt them. People still hunt them. Collaborating today. Oh! <laughs> so that's the baby and the mama. Wow. We're right next to him. You see the baby? You see the size? Yeah. Baby compared to the mama. Oh, look at that. They're just playing. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, that can be that can be a, a, a another baby, two babies. Uh, actually, sometimes uh, mamas oh, two mamas. babies when it's uh, uh, two. Oh, it's like the only one doesn't look like yeah. a baby. Doesn't look very aggressive, so they can be that can be a, another baby. So for another baby that came like two years ago here. Okay. Yeah. Is that clear, yes, Amor? No, no. My clear is that you didn't come here, so yeah, I'm going to go for it. Sí. I'm going to go for it. Two, three. Oh. Beautiful. Give you a little tail. All right. So this is Cano Island Biological Reserve. So this is going to be our first spot, snorkeling, but gorgeous, gorgeous little beach here. All right, there's our boat leaving. We get a couple of, a couple of minutes, maybe half an hour here on the island. Very fun, very fun. And there's my fellow snorkelers. Got a toilet, yay. <laughs> and this is just pretty lovely. Pretty stinking lovely. I'm on the lookout at Kanyo Island. That's, that's our boat. We're gonna do a little bit more snorkeling. And then head in and gonna have, uh, well, there's a nice little beach down there, but closer to the mainland, which you can see off in the distance, um, we're gonna have our uh, little picnic lunch on the beach. So, last little view of beautiful Kanyo Island. The crab world, yeah. <laughs> it's a crab slide. So we are checking out all these amazing hermit crabs here on Kanyo Island. There are so many different sizes, so many different types of shells. It's just crazy. I don't, I don't think they have too many predators here, but this uh, entire beach area, it's just, it's just covered with them. You look over there, they're just all over the place. Wildlife of Kanyo Island. Okay, this is a American crocodile. So he's, a, he's on our trip back to Sierra Bay. About four meters long. Pretty good sized guy. So these are the little bugs from the egg sack. Trying to just focus in on them. So yesterday or the day before they were transparent and you can see they have molted. They've sloughed off their old skin and they are growing and they are developing color. So with this camera phone, it's hard to get much more detail than that. Trying to hone in, but you can see the pattern and the color emerging. So 
Looks like these guys have uh, eaten everything that was in the egg sacs. And uh, I suppose once they're big enough and strong enough, they'll go on their way. They're moving, crawling about. They've got a lot of color on them and they've become less transparent, but yeah, so that's a continuation. You can see where the egg sac was and all these guys, looks like they're, looks like they're doing fine. Trying to avoid getting eaten by birds. Okay, here we are at Dekra, uh, which would be like our mm, DMV, now smog. Eh. Combination, yeah, yeah. So it's more than just a smog, full body, I mean, full auto inspection. Okay, so Ye yearly. We have produced a driver's license and a little bit of money. Not much. Not much. And Something like $13, $15. Okay. So this used to be called Retebe. Retebe was the inspection. Now it's Decra. It's a new company, um, countrywide. Countrywide, yeah. Yep, yep. And so made an appointment. The appointment's 9 13 and we're 25 minutes early, so whatever. <laughs> so we're in a line like that. There's a few cars ahead of us. This is where the, um, uh, I don't know. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna find out. So it'll be analyzing something. Everything, they check the battery, the, the I think the admissions, the lights, you know, everything works. So we'll see how long we're waiting in line. And we are in Linea Uno. Uno. So apparently as we go forward, there are like different stations, if you will, where they check different things. It looks like the first one they check the tires. So after that, I don't know, maybe they just talk to you. <laughs> and that's what it looks like down the way. First the tires. Well, here's a motorcycle on the right-hand side that's going through the process. Pretty cool. She just checked the uh, turn signals and the backup lights. I was too slow getting the camera out for that. And this is an older vehicle, so it's hard for him to open doors and the uh, hood. So that little Toyota is going to be our entertainment <laughs> as, as it goes through. When he started it up, it was like a puff of smoke. Is he a diesel? Do you know? Don't know. He's checked our windshield wipers, fluid, turn signals, brights. Oh, now he's under the hood. He checked the seatbelts in the back. Goes smoothly. All right, we've got a a walking stick. <laughs> Cirque du Soleil. Yeah, I think he's more of a dancing stick. <laughs> I've never seen one so active. Usually they're just quiet. So he's climbing on one of our hanging pots here. How big would you say he is, sweetie? Six, six yeah. inches? Yeah, thereabouts. Yeah, so we've seen bigger, we've seen smaller. He seems to have most of his legs, but these guys are all over. They're they're harmless and really, really cool looking. Bug of the week. So this is. For Independence Day, very fun. All the schools are here. That's great.